Representative Capriglione, you alluded to the fact earlier in, in uh, making your case that cities are not enforcing their uh, payday lending or credit access businesses um, ordinances. Did, did you say that earlier? There are a variety of cities, 44 over the last six years, that have attempted usually not at all. In some small cases, okay, there have been attempts, I think maybe in Denton, maybe in a couple of other places. Are you, are you familiar I, with the city of Dallas ordinance? I am vaguely familiar with the city of Dallas ordinance, but I would tell the body, what I would tell the body is if you're not familiar with the city of Dallas's ordinance, then you probably need to read it right now because with Representative Craddock's amendment, it's about to become statewide. And that, again, is why I think it's a proper place And with for your amendment, discussion. you would be preempting the city of Dallas ordinance, correct? What I would say is that the body then has the opportunity to go and make those decisions. The, the body I'm, I'm and speaking the agencies your have the ability to the do that. The intent of your amendment, and, I'm, and you're the amendment author, is to preempt the city that, of yeah. Dallas ordinance, correct? But what I'm trying to do, okay, and if you actually look at what this does, is this does not create any new regulations, any new state regulations, and it does not Would get rid of any of state regulations. Would the be able to keep its current ordinance under your amendment? Under Representative Craddock's amendment, what he's, what he's no, essentially under, saying... No, under your amendment to his that's amendment. That's right. What I'm saying is it should go to state, the state's purview, and it, it, it is, right? I mean, even... Do, are you familiar with the city of... I'll, or ask, the municipal I'll, ask, I'll ask my question again and see if we can get okay. an answer. Would, does your amendment to Dean Craddock's amendment preempt the city of Dallas ordinance currently in place? Would hit my amendment? Yes. It absolutely would go okay. and put this in, for, this in the since responsibility the of the state. Did you know that the, since the implementation of the city of Dallas ordinance, 88 locations have been closed down and I the city of Dallas has issued six criminal citations against non-compliant payday lenders? I am fully aware that businesses are fleeing Dallas, yes. And I think that that's partly to do with the local government that's in Dallas. Uh, you, don't but, think, you don't think that, but, yeah, that those if, if, payday if lenders might have been uh, actually violating the ordinance, do you? I, you know what? I have not gone and looked at exactly okay. the piece of paper that you have in front of me. But what I will do is talk to you about your point which is that what this ordinance has done is shut businesses down, right? You just said that. It's shut businesses down. So there were 88... And has just, it, just has, to has that you... ordinance also gotten rid of employees? Do you have the number of how many employees were fired because of that ordinance? So, so credit access so you, businesses so... have not been shut down. Representative King of Parker raised a point of order. Point, order is well taken. Sustained.